My name is Jakaya Burley, and my father passed away. And this happened, this happened last night. It happened today. And I'm going to tell you guys how he passed away. So me, my mom, my dad, and my brother, and my cousin, my granny, my grannies, everybody, we're all having a good time. And then... My dad was smoking a cigarette, and my mom was smoking a cigarette, and he has heart problems, and he told my mom to put the cigarette out, and she was walking, and she put the cigarette out, and he was walking from the door, and he just fell on the floor face first, and before that, he had a gout. For those that don't know who what a gout is, a gout swells up your foot. Yeah. A gout swells up your foot. And it hurts really bad to even touch it, to put one finger on it. It hurts really bad. And I thought he tripped because of his gout. But then he started shaking. And then I knew it was something wrong. We called 911. And everybody was screaming. And all the kids had to go to the back of the room. Where we couldn't see my father. Because if I saw him like that, I would have freaked out. But my grand, my grandma... My granny Stacy, she said <sighs> her and my cousin flipped my dad over, and when they flipped him over, he was breathing just a little, not a lot, and then they flipped him over, then they opened his eyes. And then he, his eyes were flipped to the back of his head. So at that point, my granny and my cousin, they didn't, well, my granny, she knew that he was dead, but my cousin didn't. He didn't know that she was dead. So, the ambulance, they knew he was dead, but they didn't tell anybody. And my grandma, she didn't tell anybody either, because she didn't want people freaking out about it. So, they kept pumping him, and when they arrived, they kept pumping him in the chest and pumping him in the chest. And with heart problems, if you keep pumping him them too many times, then... You could break all of this up here. Your stomach, your rib cage, you could break everything. It's literally like so unbelievable that he's dead. So, my Annie came over here she was so mad and so sad at the same time she was crying but I could see the anger in her face and with me I'm just like her so she 
she took my Aunt Kenya and they left my Aunt Kenya and my Aunt Courtney. And they all left and they went to the hospital. Leaving the big kids to watch the little kids to make sure they were okay. But my grandma was also there. But at the same time, she was in a lot of pain too. What people don't know about my dad is that he is a really great man. He did everything for his family. It was He told me always, it was nothing, nothing in the world that he wouldn't do for us. And I believed him. My dad's dream was to always get a puppy. And name it Major. He wanted to be in the dog game. If you don't know what the dog game is, you make you make money off of your dog. Okay. So right now we do have that dog. We bought the dog before he died. We didn't know that he was going to die, but I'm pretty sure he did. We had everything fixed. The car that I'm sitting in now, this is our car, and it had a lot of stuff wrong with it. And once we got everything fixed, it just died right in front of my eyes. It all happened, like, literally, it happened so fast. And I just miss him so much. Because it's hard when you can still see a person in your dreams. But it's not a good dream. It's a nightmare.